traffic from Alexa, I mean, number two, global rain for traffic in the United States is number two. I love this down here, the time spent on the site, 30 minutes, there's a lot of people, it, it, I'm sure it's a lot longer than that. I think that's like 30 minutes one time of the day, but they're not taking into consideration it's like 30 minutes every couple of hours. You know, it probably adds up, no, I don't know, 30 minutes a day, but still there's a lot of people on there. And Matt made a good point, you have to be very careful on Facebook because it can suck your time. Um, I go through my daily action guide here in a moment and everything that I do on there is business related. And you've got to really train yourself to do that. Don't get sucked into your news feed. Remember you're there to do business on Facebook. Somebody was telling me yesterday that they never see their news feed. It may have been Vince. And uh, that's good. He's doing it right. Because if you get in your news feed, you'll find you'll be there for hours. And those aren't money making activities, revenue producing activities. We've got to get you focused on doing it for business. So I'm going to talk to you about some suggested Facebook goals that you might want to write down. Some of the things that you want to focus on is you want to get a loyal following of fans, meaning they're loyal to you, they follow you, they like the information that you're giving them. They want to hear more, you're teaching them strategies, you're, you're showing them maybe how you can help them build their businesses online. This is a big one. I see a lot of people come and they try to start on Facebook with their business and they forget that you've got to build a list. It's all about getting subscribers to your list. It's not just about fans. You want to build a list because you can monetize that list outside of Facebook. You want to create brand awareness, and I'm going to teach you guys today how to create that brand awareness to where you are now the go-to person for something. A lot of people struggle with that early on. They're like, what do I have to offer? How can I provide value? And I'm going to help you think through that today so you can become somebody who brands yourself. How to get more traffic to your website, very important. You're not just on Facebook just to get fans, just to get traffic to your fan page. We're gonna show you how to get traffic to your websites. These are all the things that you can do with Facebook and you should be focusing on. Increase that referral rate. I get so many people that come to me and say, hey, you know, John recommended you from, you know, over on this page, he was asking about Facebook. I get a lot of referrals and they can come over and you want to increase that referral rate and that comes from that brand awareness. Um, and become that go-to person within your niche. So most of you here are in the home-based business industry, right? And you're looking to build your business. So you want to become that go-to person. I'm going to help you really decide that because those are the initial steps that you need to take in order to really get this started. And then increase your click-through rate of all your offers and then improve fan satisfaction. You always want to be focusing on what can I do today to improve the satisfaction of my fans? How can I help them? And you being able to share that message on a social media platform like Facebook is big. You know, in the past, where did we, where did we share those messages? I mean, it was very hard to do that. That's what's the beauty of social media platforms is you can share your message and you're going to share it on Facebook and then increase the return on investment of your offers. That's it's not showing there, but showing there. Uh, but that's good, it'll make it look like I'm winging it. <laughs> so increase your return on investments on your offer. All right, so let's go through the steps. Very first thing you want to do is create a Facebook fan page. Second thing you want to do, it's very simple. You want to get fans. You got the page, now you need the fans. Then you want to start posting valuable content. <laughs> So five to seven times a day, you want to deliver. Yeah. All right, yes. thank you. Thank you for the wow. Thank you. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to help you with. All you have to do is use the little schedule button at the bottom of the status update oh. on your fan page. And you can schedule out. I get up in the morning or in the, or in the evening, and I'm going to talk about <laughs> content ideas, and I schedule out my posts five to seven times a day. Why five to seven times a day? Most of your, huh? Because people are checking Facebook constantly. There you go. Perfect. They're checking it constantly. Or some people are up at 8 or like, who was it? Somebody in here gets up at 4.30 in the morning. I think it's been great. It's somebody else. Yeah. They're up at 4.30. And if you're not posting till 12, there's, there's most likely they're not going to see that status update. I'm not saying post the same things five to seven times a day. But here's the deal. If you have fans on your fan page, 
Not everybody sees your status updates. In the beginning, I used to think, and it was like that, but Facebook it changes what's called their algorithm all the time. So there's strategies to making sure that your fans, and I'm going to go into that also in this presentation, but they, there's strategies to show, make sure that your posts get seen. So if you're putting out information out there, you want it to get seen. So if you spread your posts out five to seven times a day, different posts, and then you're, you're obviously, without doing any paid advertising, you're gonna have a better chance of your fans seeing that information. But since Facebook uses the algorithm where they, what they do is, is if, you know, Terry likes something on my page or he comments on my page more than John, he's gonna see my information on my fan page and his news feed more than John would because they weigh it by the activity and the behavior. So you could, so this may make you, make you wonder or think, if you're buying fans that have no, you know, that could care less about what you offer on your fan page, they're never going to see your status updates. Does that make sense? And we're gonna ask questions, so. And after you're posting, you wanna engage, you know, make sure that when you're creating a status update, say somebody comes in and comments below it or asks a question, Interact with them, answer the question, provide more value. Where do you ultimately want to do? We want to ultimately get them into your funnel. And you've got to always think that in the back of your head, but yet do it in a way that you're still building that relationship with that person <coughs> and that they realize that you may have something of value to offer them to change their life. And they're going to want to get into that sales funnel because they trust you, they believe in you, they look at you as the expert. And then if you want to get results quickly, we're going to show you how to create some, well, I'm going to show you the areas to do that, but create paid ads for quicker results. You know, Facebook has really start, gone to, you need to pay to play. And I get a lot of people that get very upset by that. Why should I have to pay Facebook to show my status updates in the news feed? You got to pay to play. There's so much competition out there. You're in a business. You're investing in yourself, you're investing in your business, it's part of your advertising, you've got to spend it. You're gonna get, get more results that way, so you don't be afraid to do that. Um, and then focus on building that list. So those are the steps, I mean, that we're gonna make sure, oops, let me go back, sorry, that you wanna take to get going in this. All right, everybody got the picture, okay. All right, so let's talk about that creating the fan page. I wanna show you some of the important things. How many of you have a fan page? You do, okay, good. Good, good, good. So maybe, for those of you who don't, I'm gonna show you how to do that, and then also for those of you who do, you might wanna look at this and see if you've got everything, well that didn't work, those bullets on there. So let's just go through the first one. Use your name, all right? One of my mistakes early on is I used the name of the company that I was with. And I didn't brand myself. And I gave a good example yesterday when Vince was up on stage, some of you that may not have known him might have gone to Facebook, most people do that, and if he had used a company name and then you didn't know what company he was with or if he was tied to a network marketing company, you wanted to search for more information about him and he didn't have his name on there, you would search Vince Reed on Facebook and you wouldn't have found him on there. And so don't miss out on that opportunity that as you evolve through all this, and you start having, some of you already have great success, but I mean, even if those of you that are starting out, you start having huge, massive amounts of success, give people a way to find you and connect with you. So use your name. If you have to add a company, do the little dash after it or something, but use your name because you need to brand yourself on Facebook. Claim your vanity URL. All that simply means is you go into your settings of your fan page and don't. there's a section in there where you don't have to give out all the, uh, there's numbers, like facebook.com forward slash number, 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 number. You don't want that. You know, make sure you claim that vanity URL and give your, your fan page a name. So like mine is facebook.com forward slash Michelle Pesco Salida. Um, create your offer on your application tabs. Again, I see a lot of people miss this. It's okay. I did the same thing early on because I didn't understand really how to put everything together on Facebook. But all this is what, what's going to get you traffic organically and with paid advertising. So what is your offer? You've got to put that on your application tabs. There are some great third-party programs out there that you can simply copy and paste your offer. So if it's Mo, you want to have, you, I would take one of his pages and just copy you know, what's on there and put it on your application tab because then you can drive traffic to that. It'd be like a mini website inside of Facebook and Facebook loves when you keep traffic inside of Facebook. They don't like you to send traffic outside of Facebook. 